Shalom, friends in Christ, welcome back to our channel. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so now and turn on the full notification bell, so you won't miss our next video. In this video, we will be sharing with you all, a message from our Lord Jesus Christ to Sir Enoch, received on June 6, 2013. Before we begin, let us pray briefly for the grace of discernment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, please teach us how to respond to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Let us be prayerful and sensitive, so that we can understand every instruction that the Spirit offers. Make us a sensitive servant that listens to the voice of the Holy Spirit, and make us an obedient servant that yields to his instructions. Let our obedience benefit your kingdom. Let us never regret serving you, but help us to prosper in this life, and in heaven also. For in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ began. Peace to you, hierarchs. Ecclesiastical hierarchy, why did you change the prayer of our Father that I taught my disciples? The prayer of our Father that you are praying today is not the same which I taught my disciples when they told me, Master teach us to pray, and I did. Say our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. My flocks, the words, debts, and debtors cover not only your personal and spiritual debts, but also the debts of your ancestors and deceased. When you say forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, hint at personal offenses, ignoring your intergenerational line, I mean, thy defunct and ancestors. In the Our Father prayer, that I taught to my disciples, is manifested mercy, love, forgiveness, and the protection of God the Father for his children. The Our Father prayer, as you are praying today, disregards your forefathers and deceased. When changing the words debts, for trespasses, and debtors, for trespass against us, are manipulating, and distorting God's salvation plans. The Our Father prayer, as my Father taught me to be given to his children, has liberation's power for your souls, your deceased families, and your ancestors if you pray it with faith. It is an exorcism prayer that frees you from the attacks of the evil one, and protects you from his snares. It is also a prayer life, and nourishment for your spirit. It is a prayer of provision, not only for corporal food, but the spiritual food that I am. Hierarchs of my church, shepherds of my flock, I ask from my heart to come back to pray the Our Father, as my Father taught me, because as you are praying it, and teaching it to my flocks who do not have the same value and spiritual power. To change the words debts for trespasses, and debtors for trespass against us is to lose the merciful, and liberating action of the Father to his children here on earth, and for the souls of your forefathers, and departed into eternity. Our Father prayer with the Creed, and the Magnificent are powerful prayers that gathers the whole plan of salvation that my Father has destined for humankind. My peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Repent, and convert, for the kingdom of God is near. Thy teacher and shepherd, Jesus, blessed sacrament. Make known my messages to all humankind. Message to Enoch, as given on July 3, 2017. Sheep of my flock, peace to you. Fire from the sky is approaching, and will catch mankind unprepared. Many fireballs are directed toward the earth, and the men of science will not be able to stop them, because they are instruments of my justice that comes to purify your planet. Remember that you are in trial times, and what you must do is to pray, fast, and do penance, in order to make these days more bearable. My flock, the vast majority of humanity, continues to relax as if nothing were to happen. I say more to you, the axe is placed at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not give good fruit will be cut and thrown into the fire. O oh, ungrateful and sinful humanity, you have not wanted to welcome me, 
you continue to despise my mercy that I benevolently offered you. You have not wanted to hear my words, that incessantly are calling you to conversion. Then, know my justice, feel its rigor, and its tragedy. Perhaps, this way, you comprehend, and obey, and through suffering, you may return to me. I am calling you again to conversion. I am seeking through all means that you return to my fold, because I do not want your death or that I am pleased with your suffering. But no, you are so stubborn, you are thick heads, you only learn through suffering. How sad my justice has to be, the one who will return you to my fold. Your ingratitude hurts me, and makes me sad. I offer you life, joy and fulfillment through my mercy, but you reject them, you prefer pain, suffering and death, which will come to you in the footsteps of my justice. What a sadness! O mankind, the days that are to come are of purification, accept me, before the great night of my justice comes to you. My warning is near, and you will get caught without being prepared. What are you waiting for? Remember that your life is at stake, and if you do not repent from the heart, you run the risk of losing yourselves forever. Come to me, with a contrite and humble heart, and I assure you that I will forget your sins. I am the source of forgiveness, who is waiting for you, my errant sheep. Come to get a bath, and you will be clean. I am waiting for you, do not be late, get near with confidence, and seek one of my pastors who represent me, and entrust him all of your misery and filth. Through him, I will cleanse you, and I will give you new garments so that you can dine with me. My flock, make the most of these days, and nourish yourselves as much as you can with my body and my blood, so that your body, soul and spirit, get stronger and will be able to resist the passage of my justice. After my warnings and miracles, the days of the last reign of my adversary will begin and with them, the time of the great tribulation. My houses will be closed, and my tabernacles will be desecrated. A time in which my flock has to flee from cities, and from people, to take refuge in mountains, or in shelters or caverns, to flee, as my first disciples did, from persecutions. Prepare my flocks, because gloomy are the days to come. Fear not those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Fear the one who can kill the body and the soul in the fire. My peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Repent and convert yourselves, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Your master, Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Let my messages be known to all mankind.